Welcome back once again adventurers to let's play blaze blue calamity trigger in the last episode after years of confinement on the edge of the boundary Huckerman was retrieved by none other than the scion of Jube of the six heroes as well as the witch nine also of the same company Professor Kokonoe of sector seven herself and uh, Needless to say, the two don't very well. The two don't like each other very much, and we'll leave it at that for the time being. But um, it seems like uh, in the last episode, there have been quite a few cats in Hakuman's future. First Kokonoe, then Tao Kaka, and then finally his old comrade from the Six Zeros, Jubei himself, who is still alive and well despite. It being 90 years since their climactic battle with the Black Beast. But Jubei actually brought up some very uh, disturbing news regarding a certain individual by the name of Terumi, who is in fact one of the members of the Six Heroes. That makes a uh, grand total of four individuals who know about uh, Terumi's existence and are uh, seeking to do something about it. That would be uh, Jubei, Hakuman, Rachel Alucard, and of course, uh, Kokonoe herself. But uh, due to Kokonoe's interference, uh, reality is a bit unstable for Hakuman, and so he keeps uh, teleporting, if one can describe it as such, to uh, various different places, since his uh, anchor to the real world is less than stable. And as a result, we've ended up here in the Ronin Gai district of Kagutsuchi. He tells himself it is only another hallucination. The substantiation process still isn't complete. No, it is not. But uh, we are still in the present real world. We know that much. In the meantime, he has nothing to do but wander. This place is a mere remnant of his memory. A memory from when he was human. And, uh, wasn't, uh, that didn't actually take very long. Uh, yeah. Because, uh, believe it or not, Bang Shishigami and his, uh, entourage of fellow Ikaruga ninjas actually do keep a uh, fairly watchful eye on their peaceful little district. A man stands in front of Hakuman. He doesn't recognize the man, but something about his simple, honest eyes seems familiar. I take it that you're one of the six heroes, Master Hakuman. And I'm surprised, I'm really surprised that you, of all people, actually uh, are aware of that fact. You didn't seem to be aware of it when you were saving Lychee from Hakuman beforehand, but then again, you probably... Uh, didn't realize it was him, but surprisingly now you do. That's actually rather curious. Indeed. But uh, it seems that since Bang Shishigami knows who Hakuman is, he's being quite a bit more respectful to him. My name is Bang Shishigami. I'm here to ask for a fair match and your guidance. If only you were like this all the time, Bang Shishigami, this simple but proud, earnest self of yours would probably make people uh, like you, and in the case of Lychee Fei Ling, she might actually fall for you. But I digress. Why would you wish to do that? It's all in the name of justice. Justice, eh? Tell me, boy, what is this justice of yours? I don't expect to save the entire universe, but at the very least, I want to save those I see suffering before me. That is my justice. I don't say this often, Bang Shishigami, but I will say it now. Very well spoken indeed. You have a strong spirit, and you know your limitations. Very well. Well, there is a first time for everything, eh, Hakuman? I am in your debt. I will show you my justice. To retrieve everything I've lost in Ikaruga. There is something Hakuman feels he should remember. 
Something about Ikaruga. A man had worked very hard to restore the country of Ikaruga. When Hakuman had been human, he had mocked him for it. That is a curious sentiment there. But the man is different now. He is a man who stands up for what he believes in. A man who Hakuman can respect. Well, uh, you should feel uh, eternally honored to have Hakuman's respect already, Hakuman, before you've even uh, crossed blades with fists. But uh, it is time to uh, put that respect and justice to the test. Which treaty, eh? He can't help but wonder his force of will and this determined man's. Which is stronger? That is the question. <laughs> You've not changed at all. So it seems that Hakuman actually does know uh, Bang Shishigami after all, which is, again, a very strange coincidence. Very well then. Let us begin, Bang Shishigami. Oh. Indeed. We shall see who the victor is in this uh, fair and square bout. That which will determine whose justice and spirit is stronger, but not the superior. And the gale of Ronan Guy commences the battle! Get some momentum going. Ooh, you dodged that like a pro. Very well, very well done, Bang Shishigami. But I won't finish you off with something so cheap. Indeed. It's time to finish this. That was a good bout, Bang Shishigami. So this is the power of the six heroes. Indeed it is, Bang Shishigami, and yet you are still consciously on your feet. And uh, you don't seem to uh, be surprised at the fact that you were beaten by Hakuman. As I said before the battle, if only you were like this more often, then people would actually have the same respect as Hakuman does for you right now. You may have lost the battle, but you might yet win the war that you are seeking. Your will is strong. I acknowledge your spirit. Indeed. I see. An intriguing development. And, of course, uh, we have... Uh, not quite unexpected, uh, visitor in our midst. You, why have you come here? An individual which Hakuman is all too familiar with. You don't suspect I am an illusion? Maybe, but maybe not. I know you too well. You would not stoop to an illusion. Not that I would be able to see such ledger domain. I was unaware you had such hatred for me. I'm only here to see what was occupying your time, since you had yet to appear. Curious that you would follow our movement so closely, Rachel Alucard. Hmm. Why are you truly here, demon? Hmm. It seems that uh, Hakuman's uh, dislike for Rachel is second to Koganoi's, but still fairly strong. There's something interesting going on with that doll. I found her chasing rainbows near the boundary, just like you. That's oddly metaphorical, and, uh, doesn't really explain anything. Doll. You mean Murakumo. Or maybe it does. I, hmm. It seems that Rachel is referring to none other than, uh, New 13, the Murakumo unit to, uh, 
is tied to the fate of Kagutsuchi and the world itself. I'm here to wake her up, but I thought perhaps I could play with you a little while I was in the area. Hmm. So you're the one who intends to awaken uh, New Thirteen from a slumber in the cauldron. That's uh, not going to go over well with Ragnar when he finds out about this, but he probably won't find out about it. That creation is a repository of crimes humans have committed. A blade meant to cut God. That sword must be destroyed. I shall destroy it. I must. I will destroy even you should you stand in my way. Never thought I would uh, see the day that you would carry out Ragnar's dirty work for him, Hakuman. Again, a first time for everything. Such violence. Very well. Do as you please. Until we meet again, hero. Indeed we shall. <laughs> of that I am certain. And away we go again. And it's time to save. Again? Where am I now? Huh. It seems that we have uh, been whisked away to the very depths of the cauldron itself. It is yet to uh, fully awaken its uh, slumbering princess. But when we return adventurers, uh, we shall wait and see for the uh, first person to arrive here in the depths of the cauldron. Or keep almost saying cathedral, which is the complete opposite direction of the cauldron. Could we be about to face Ragnar on his way down here? Or might yet there be other individuals lurking about in our midst? As always, adventurers, until next we meet.